This is Marissa Lenti, and you are about to watch a Dice Junkies gameplay video. This is Blood X, and welcome to another Dice Junkies gameplay video. As always, we hope you enjoy. Alright, this is Blood X coming at you with another uh, Outriders video. Uh, this one is actually due to necessity than actually anything else because uh, we've been running, uh, Q and I have been running uh, Challenge Tier 14 and 15 expeditions and getting maybe one Legendary even though it's a 20% chance for Legendary and 80% chance for Epics. But we're getting mostly Blues, a couple of Purples, and we might get a Legendary every three or four runs. So, for those of you that are looking for specific Legendary Armor components, this is a... Uh, exploit-ish type situation where you can turn in the monster hunt quest and actually choose your gear so as you can see whoops as you can see I've turned I've uh, completed all of the monster hunts now I want to go to no and turn these in and uh, there's gonna be a little bit of a uh, process that if you follow you can actually reset the turn in of the quest to be able to pick the uh, armor gear that you're looking for. The, the challenge that we're running into though is uh, you have to force quit the game if you don't get what you want. So here we are at Noah and you don't want to leave the actual screen you just want to be able to turn in all the quests. So turn in the trophies All right, this is the key part. Don't reset the quest, but it goes to, to see what he's selling. So when you go see what he's selling, go to your uh, right bumper and go look at the legendary that you got. Now, if you're looking for the chrono suit, which I've already got this one, you can tell by the uh, icon. I just went through 30, 40 minutes of fighting monsters to come back to get another piece of equipment that I've already got. Well, I don't want that. So, what you do is basically uh, dashboard yourself, close the game, restart, and then uh, turn the quest back in again. So I'm going to show you how. Alright, so the game is reloading, and this is the largest, uh, longest part of the process is waiting for the game to reload back in. Um, so while this is loading, I actually got this information from Willis Gaming, and I'm going to include the uh, YouTube link in the uh, com in the um, description on this uh, on this video. But what I want to do is just show you as a player how to be able to do this, and uh, if people can fly uh, or Square Enix to look at this video, uh, I'll give them a suggestion on how to resolve it as well. Um, one of the things that I think you should get is, first of all, correct numbers when you're doing expeditions. If it says a 20% chance of legendary, 80% chance of epic, and 0% chance for the blue gear, you shouldn't get 80% blue gear and then the rest purples. Uh, that's misleading. Uh, the players are really grinding to get a bunch of nothing. Uh, so it's really frustrating. Um, so first of all, either fix the numbers to where they're accurately display your chances of getting the loot uh, or uh, one of the alternatives that I came up with uh, we're talking with Q is when you turn in your actual quest to uh, Tiago is um, you get a 20% chance of legendary on the actual expedition but when you come back talk to Tiago to turn in the quest and let you choose a legendary piece of equipment if you're on challenge tier 13, 14, or 15, for example, uh, if you're working to get that high, you should be able to at least get a guaranteed piece of legendary equipment. Because right now it was getting so frustrating that several of us are just debating stop playing at all yeah, because what? it's way too hard to be able to get the equipment that we want to be able to run challenge tier 15 consistently. All right, so we're back here at Noah. As you can see, the uh, quest touch, marker Hunter, is still up there to be able to turn it in. in so we'll turn it in the quest, and then we'll be able to hopefully get a piece of legendary gear that we actually can use. Let 
All right, what are you selling? Move over and it's a trespasser's cowl, which is not bad for a trickster, but it's not what I'm looking for. So again, I'm gonna rinse and repeat and hopefully be able to get the, uh, the equipment I'm looking for. But um, hopefully you found this informative uh, and if Square Enix, uh, who I'm pretty sure is looking at uh, videos for exploits to how to resolve them, Resolve the resolve it, but also give us uh, the right numbers as far as the chances for loot drops, or at least give us opportunities to be able to get the legendary gear that we want, whether the, through finding uh, the gear through vendors using drop pod resources like Noah here or Blair, or even going back to Rift Town. Even if you want to make the factions uh, sell specific uh, gear components, that's fine. But just give us uh, players an opportunity to be able to find the gear that we're looking for so that we can actually have fun playing the game. Because at this point, a lot of us have been talking about just deinstalling it and going and playing other things because we've gotten all the achievements. So now we're playing for fun, but the game is not fun. Uh, it's way too cumbersome to even play with your friends because you're scaling up the the hit points of the of the bosses you're scaling down our damage you're penalizing us for playing with friends and we can't even get the gear to where we can actually get the modifications to be able to play with our friends so either fix the drops to where we can get the gear that we want fix the enemies but do something before you lose your players because at this point a lot of us are just over uh, over the difficulty spike which is ridiculous we dealt with the crashes and, and the uh, early on that was fine we kept trying because we enjoyed the game and we still enjoy the game but at this point we're getting so frustrated that we can't actually get the equipment that we need to be able to play at challenge tier 15 that's ridiculous anyway if you have uh, any comments please leave them below in the video other than that thank you very much for watching and continue to do so here on twitch and also on youtube Thank you for watching the video. We hope you found the content helpful. If you did so, please hit the thumbs up as it helps spread the channel for other viewers. As always, you can watch Dice Junkies live on Twitch at 3.30 Central Standard Time on Sundays. We also stream gaming content on Twitch throughout the week, so be sure to subscribe there as well. If you can, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're up to date on all the Dice Junkies content. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. They fucked my tomatoes up!